So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make a video about unboxing a Ouija board from 1972 that is still factory sealed. Some people will think, oh, it's not a big deal at all. It's just a stupid Ouija board. And other people go, oh my God, don't do that. Don't do that. But you know what? I'm gonna do it. Let's, let's go. Hello, my legend tripping tribe. Today we're going to do something that is very different, something I didn't even conceive of. I am going to unbox a Ouija board from the 70s. It is factory sealed. It's never been open. I have three cameras on me right now. Uh, straight ahead here uh, is my A camera today. I am using the Red Komodo and I have the Canon EOS R5 right here. And then I have a GoPro 10 right above so that we can catch all the action right here and right here with the EOS R5. So um, let's do this. Here it is. This is from Warren, Massachusetts. So, a lot of people have said to me, dude, this is a bad idea, okay? You're gonna release demons and, or bad spirits, or you don't know what spirits you're gonna release, or whatever. I'm not worried about that. Um, let's find out. I'm just gonna give you a spoiler alert. I don't think we're gonna summon the devil today. I don't think Ouija boards summon the devil. I don't believe that. Let's get to it. I'm going to put on my Clark Kent so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So I'm going to turn this way and look up at this camera. And hopefully I'm going to get everything on camera. You see, I have that right there. Autofocus on the R5 has been spectacular, so where should I start with this? Now, this is just the box that was shipped in, okay? We're going to open this first, obviously. Now, how somebody kept a Ouija board since the 70s Factory sealed. I don't know. This is factory sealed, according to the eBay. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this box. This is the packaging. Packaged it very nicely. Sure I got it in here. I don't want to damage it. Wow. Wow. This is some groovy 70s lettering on here, too. <laughs> so, this is a genuine Parker Brothers uh, Ouija board, William Fold, talking board. And you can see this groovy 70s lettering. So, exactly how long this has been in existence? It smells like it's been in a basement. Wow, it's pretty amazing. I almost hate to open it in a sense <laughs> because it is factory sealed. See bottom, see bottom for complete 
descriptions. Okay, I'm gonna read, before, before I open this, I'm gonna read the directions, okay? Place Ouija talking board upon the laps of two persons facing each other. Lady and gentleman preferred. Place Ouija mysterious message indicator, they're talking about the planchette, in the center of the Ouija talking board. Resting the fingers with the least possible pressure upon the mysterious message indicator, the planchette once again, allowing it to move freely over Ouija talking board in all directions. Ouija may be asked in uh, from one to five minutes, the mysterious message indicator will commence to move at first slowly, then faster. As it passes over the Ouija talking board, each letter of a message is received as it appears through the transparent window covered by the message indicator. Second, care should be taken that one person only ask at a time so as to avoid confusion. Third, to obtain the best results, it's important that the person pre present should concentrate upon the matter in question and avoid other topics. If you use it in a frivolous spirit, asking ridiculous questions, laughing over it, you naturally get underdeveloped influences around you. Underdeveloped influences. Ouija talking board is a great mystery and we do not claim that at all times and under all circumstances that it will work equally well, but we do claim that with reasonable patience and judgment, it will satisfy your greatest expectation. Explore the mysteries of mental telepathy and the subconscious with this time-tested favorite. Ouija talking board should be kept smooth and free from dust and moisture as all depends upon the ease which the feet glide over the surface Rubbing with a soft dry cloth just before use is advised. Do not store in a damp place. Let's do this. This camera wasn't running for a second, okay? But this is the important part. It is no longer factory sealed. factory sealed and here we go beautiful shape I mean just pristine From that. To apply feet protectors to Ouija uh, message indicator, locate the strip of three ad adhesive felt dots, turn the Ouija message indicator upside down, peel and move. Okay. So these are these are the little feet. And this is it. So what else is in here, if anything? We just have to blow, right? Yeah, nothing. Nothing there. So, are we going to put the little feet on? Of course. these on? Are they still sticky since the 70s? That's the question.
here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Ouija board that was factory sealed since the 70s. Pretty impressive. So far, no demons have come out. But should we ask it a question? It's really hard to do it on your own. But you know what? Let's try. Ouija, mystifying oracle. Will the pandemic be over soon? Started to move and then stopped. Yes, it's saying the pandemic will be over soon, according to the Ouija board. This is definitely something I want to hold on to. This is pretty darn crazy. Wow. 70s. I almost feel like I violated it. It was like perfect. I'm going to keep every little piece of it. That is... It. Uh, so, a lot of people have talked to me about, oh, Ouija boards are really scary, and if you do it, you're going to summon demons and all kinds of stuff. I don't know about that. I have had several. Actually, I have one that I want to show you that is from the 20s. Now, this one I'm restoring. This is from the 20s. Uh, it is pretty darn amazing. And the planchette that goes with it, what I need to do next with this is, there's a nail that we found in Mentryville. So we're going to put that nail in here. Sometimes they said that they'd use the nail of a coffin. And I need, I bought some dowel rods and some felt, so I'm gonna uh, fix that up. So what I did was I kind of cleaned this up uh, with some uh, sandpaper and uh, making sure not to mess any of the uh, engraving out, up. And then, um, then I went and I polished this piece of metal out and then I stained the wood and then I put the metal back in. So that will be the next thing that I, uh, try something with. I mean, it's really old, so it's pretty darn cool. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would be so kind, subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon channel, which is linked below if you want to also support this channel. I do do some special things on there. Make sure to ring the bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. Take care of each other and keep rock alive.